In this section, we're going to talk about subtheme inheritance. In our previous video, what we did was create a subtheme, and in the process, we saw that almost everything in a base theme transfers over to the subtheme or is inherited by the subtheme. But there are specific components that don't get inherited, and I just wanted to talk about each one of those, and not only that, but also extend that to how you override items that are inherited because sometimes you do want to take everything from the base theme and incorporate it in your sub-theme, but then change it in some way. So let's go ahead and take a look at these one by one. Let's talk about preprocessing functions. So preprocessing functions are how we work with the logic behind a theming function, for example, or a template file. And we pull out that logic into our template.php file. All of our preprocessing functions go into that. Now, by default, our subtheme inherits all of the preprocessing functions, and this is inherently part of the structure of a preprocessing function. They stack on top of one another. So, in our module level, we can create preprocessing functions, and then in the, the theme level, we can create preprocessing functions as well. And instead of overriding previous preprocessing functions, these simply get stacked on top of one another. This means that if we create a preprocessing function for the same theming function as our base theme, that this will get added to the preprocessing function that happens in the base theme as well. In contrast, when working with a template file, we can override a template file that's defined in our base theme by simply creating the template file inside of our subtheme. So, for example, if we wanted to override our page template file, we would simply create a new page.tpl.php file inside of our subtheme. Theme function overrides work in a similar way. If we want to override a theme function override that's in the template.php file inside of our base theme, we can recreate that function inside of our template.php file inside of the subtheme in order to override it. So this works a lot like the template files in the sense that we override completely the base theme settings instead of a preprocessing function where we stack the settings on top of one another. The theme functions and preprocessing functions pretty much cover most of what you'd find inside of a template.php file. However, for those additional functions, the utility functions, for example, that you might find in there, these get inherited as well. So the template.php file gets included from the base theme, and then the template.php file from our sub-theme gets included. We're going to demonstrate how to override a CSS file, a JavaScript file, and the screenshot file for our sub-theme in just a moment, but briefly, to override a CSS file, we can define it inside of our info file. And as long as it has the same name as the CSS file in the base theme, it will override that. Now that file can be empty, or it can have a slew of styles in it just like the base theme would. Now JavaScript files work in a very similar way. All we need to do to override a JavaScript file is to create one of the same name and add it in our info file. Custom theme settings, like the one that we created in a previous example where we added a subheader to our theme, are not inherited into a subtheme. So if we want our subtheme to have those, we need to copy the theme settings.php file, and any settings that are defined inside of the info file over to the subtheme as well. This also includes any settings around the color module that allow individuals to change the color scheme of a template. The screenshot file is inherited from the base theme. So as we saw in our previous example when we created a sub-theme from the Bartik theme as a base theme, the screenshot for Bartik was pulled into our sub-theme. If we wanted to override this, we would simply need to define a new screenshot inside of our info file. And if you're curious about how to do this, you can take a look at one of the first videos we did on theming, where we went over all of the info file options. And finally, like we saw in our previous video where we created the sub-theme, 
when we want to add a default logo to the sub theme, we need to copy that logo from the base theme. Or if we want a different logo, we can simply create a logo file inside of our sub theme directory.